Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have a start to finish showing you how to make your wig look really natural like this. I'm just kidding you guys. I'm actually not going to show you how to make your wig look like this. But we're going to go from this and take your wig to this to make it look more natural. And I will be sharing with you guys how to achieve these color results that look so natural and sun kissed. And that will not damage your curls at all and leave your wig beautiful after coloring it. If you want to see all of that then make sure you keep on watching until the end of the video for all the details. If you're not new to my channel then you already know how we are going to start this. I'm going to share with you guys how the wig came. Of course it came from FedEx. Well it didn't come from FedEx. Of course it came from Evo's wigs and it came through FedEx and this is the packaging for the wig. This is how your wig will come packaged. Um, I'm always pleased with the packaging for their wigs. So when you get your wig it will be in a baggie like this and of course they throw in some goodies like a comb and you will also get a wig cap and I love the fact that they give me a cap that matches my scalp and not a brown cap that is so awesome. And they also give you some bobby pins and I actually really like them bobby pins a lot. And they give you an instruction user manual to show you how to apply your wig if you're new to lace wigs. But I'm going to do that today in this video along with sharing with you guys how I color it. So this is how the wig looks out of the baggie. Has this little tag on it. Um, I went on and put on a mannequin head so you guys can get the full effect of how this wig looks straight out the box. I love the fact they attach the tag to the wig. But the curls in this are so beautiful. This is their um, kinky curly hair. This is 100% Indian Remy human hair. It's a glueless lace wig. I will share with you guys the cap later on. Um, I did get mine in a 20 inch if I'm not mistaken. No or 18 inch. I lost the little tag that was on the wig. I absolutely love the hairline on this wig. It looks so natural and as you can see it has this extra lace that of course we're going to cut off later on. Because I lost a little card that was on the wig I'm going to have to put everything in the description box about the density of this wig. Um, this density is very very natural. Um, as you can see the parting looks beautiful when you part it. Um, some people might think that's a little bit too gappy but I feel like after I wash the hair and everything it kind of worked out pretty well. Um, now if you can see what the tag says right here I even kind of get a little bit of details but I couldn't get the tag to show up that much but the hair color is of a natural black. I am going to change the hair color later on in the video. Um, so for the cap this is how their glueless cap comes. It has the lace in the back and it also has the adjustable straps um, as you can see. And then in the front it has the lace that of course you cut off and then it has these combs attached um, so that you can put this wig on without using any glue and it will lay very very naturally. So now we're going to remove the extra lace that we don't need. Before I forget this is a custom wig. I did get my lace color in the color transparent. I always get my lace color in transparent because I feel like it matches better. I am not going to bleach the knots on this cap yet but um, I probably will in the future. So right here I'm removing the extra lace that I don't need. I'm making sure to cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible without cutting off the baby hairs. If you don't like baby hairs you can cut them off but I'm not going to and then I'm going to cut off the extra lace in the back. So this is of course how the wig is going to look before it's washed, before you do anything to it. But as you can see the parting and everything looks pretty good. Um, so you will need to manipulate this wig to make it look more natural and that's what I'm going to show you how I do today. Um, I absolutely love the feel of the wig. It is really pretty. It's really soft and it's nice and curly. So let's wash this wig. Okay, so straight out the box my next step is to wash this wig. I will be using my Dove um, Pure Oil Shampoo and I want to use a conditioner but I'm out of it. They changed the ingredients so I'm just going to use my Tresemme Naturals Conditioner. So before I do any coloring to the hair I like to wash it and get off any dirt or product that the company might have put on the hair to make it shiny or whatever. I feel like you'll get the best color results by shampooing the hair first. Now usually I do not shampoo my curly hair, um, especially the kiki curly hair, but because I want to um, color it, I want the hair to be free of any product that's going to prevent it from taking the hair color. So I just washed and now I'm conditioning the hair and I'm removing any tangles with my fingers. I highly recommend using your fingers 
to detangle this hair. You do not need a comb or brush, which I'm using right now, and I kind of figured that out later on. You can just use your fingers to remove any tangles. So this is how much shedding I got um, after washing the hair, and the shedding was not bad at all. So after my hair is finished being washed, I always put it on a mannequin head and let it air dry 100%. I noticed the ends dried a little bit more frizzy, but I think it's because I used the brush on the hair, which I highly recommend you don't do. Just use your fingers. So this is how the hair looked completely dry. And as you can see, that one spot is still a little bit frizzy. Um, so um, I did wash this hair several times just because I did color it. I highly recommend using your fingers. So this is how it looks um, the first time around after I wash the hair. And that's the parting and everything in the back. I feel like the density of the back of the hair is a little bit more lighter. Um, okay, so let's move into the hair color tutorial. I'll be using the L'Oreal Excellence High Color for dark hair and soft brown. And I'm just going to use one tube of this because I only want the hair to look sun-kissed. Um, I did use 20 developer the first time I did this and I'm going to tell you now do not use 20 developer because I had to go back and actually use the 30 developer to get the color to show up um, it didn't show up as good as it did with the 30 developer so I did process this hair twice <laughs> and let me tell you guys the curls look so good after I finished processing it there was no damage to the curls or anything so what you want to do is take sections of your hair and you want to go through it and sweep the color on the hair as if you was painting this is going to give your hair extensions or your wig or your curly hair um, a nice sun kiss look without looking like it is fake um like you went to the salon and got you know some highlights you don't want it to look highlighted you want it to look like this is your natural hair color and the sun just touched it and now it's nice and beautiful and i absolutely love this l'oreal hair color because using it just with the developer is going to give you results that's not going to damage your hair extensions like the bleach would bleaching this hair will probably make the curls become loose this is not going to make the curls become looser it's going to give you the color without the damage so I love that here's a close-up of how the color looks in artificial lighting of course I love it um, I feel like in the sunlight it looks a lot more brownish than it do reddish I think everything turned out well so now let's apply this wig and as you can see when I put it on this time after washing it this is the third time I've washed this wig it's not as frizzy at the ends um, I did use my fingers only um, and I conditioned it really well and as you can see the curls have improved so so much and also there's no damage done to the curls so now what I like to do is to take the baby hairs that's with the that's on the cap and I kind of mixed them with my baby hairs and kind of adjust the wig to where I want it. I've already inserted the comb so the wig can be secure and now I'm just going to kind of fluff out the hair a little bit. I did notice that some of the hair was a little bit longer in the front than other parts so I went around the hair and snipped off little pieces here and there and I kind of did it in a way where it wasn't a chop but I went in between like the curls to, so it won't be like a big chop on the curls if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to continue to fluff and I also use my brush and some concealer in the parting to get everything to look nice and natural. I sprayed the hair with some Jane Carter solutions and voila, here we go. The hair is nice and natural looking. Um, I do, did recently do another video showing you guys how I install my curly hair so that's why I kind of rushed through this one because if you've seen that then you already seen the way I attach you know, the wig and make my hair blend and everything. So these are the finished results. Let me know what you guys think. Do you love it because I really do like it if you've been looking for a great protective style for fall and winter I highly recommend this wig from Eva's wigs go check it out I will link everything in the description box along with a discount code so you can save $35 off your purchase and I thank you guys for watching